All right, Shalom. I want to start off by giving all honor, glory, and praise unto Yahweh. Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakwadash. All right, double honors to the apostles, bishops, and elders. Great millstone, teaching rule well. Peace, blessings, and salutations to the hopeful, like Akim, teaching, teaching this truth. And to the Bayath Shai, that would die, the, the men, women, and children, <clears throat> listening and learning a part of the house of David, the elect of Israel. Which is Israel is the so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right. <clears throat> to you, I say Shalom. This is Brother Karathazai from Mena Valley, Las Vegas Camp. All right, back with another lesson today, and it's going to be titled "Do Not Mix Doctrine." Okay. You don't want to mix doctrines, and you know, being a, a follower of the GMS doctrine, which through faith. You know, and uh, the spirit is the hundred percent truth. All right, you don't want to watch these other camps. All right, because they're gonna mislead you, confuse you, and then and then it might cause you to doubt. You know, your faith. All right, especially if you're new in this thing. Okay. And if you're you're just building yourself up as a brother, you know, yeah, you see, you see older, you know, you see the elders, people that are more seasoned in the in the faith, you know, rooted in 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 this thing, in the truth. Okay, they do lessons on on these other camps going off, you know, but. You know, as as a newer brother in the faith, you just need to to listen strictly to the GMS videos. All right, mainly and mainly the the apostles, bishops, and, and the well renowned elders in this thing. All right. So uh, with that, we're gonna get this um, this show on the road. <laughs> Alright, so let's get this uh, started. I'm going to go to Amos 3 and verse 3. It says, can two walk together except they be agreed? And, and the answer is no. Alright, because you'll be constantly butting heads. Alright, and that goes with people outside of doctrines, the non-believers, you know, the Christ Christianity. Some, some people just not going to get it. All right, and you want to surround yourself <clears throat> with the brotherhood and, and with like-minded brothers, you know, that follow the same doctrine as much as possible, man, because that's going to uh, help you excel and, and build your, your spirit up. Let's grab that real quick. Proverbs 27 and 17. It says, Iron sharpeneth iron, so a man sharpeneth the countenance of his friend. All right? And the countenance is the character. All right? We can even go into that word. What? I don't know what just happened. Maybe my fingers touch something. All right, the face, the presence. Okay, this is countenance, panim, in the uh, Hebrew. All right. <clears throat> and when somebody has a strong countenance, you know that they're confident. We, we get our confidence through Yahweh Shai, through the Spirit. Okay. Um, let's go into the root word. Nah. All right. Nothing really standing out, but. It's, it's the character of, of somebody, you know, the the face of somebody, all right? 
And we know, you know, 2 Timothy 2 and 15. All right, study to show thyself approved unto the most high. All right, be not ashamed. All right, be not ashamed of, uh, of this doctrine standing standing in. Uh... All right, let's just grab that real quick. Study to show thyself approved unto the most high a workman that needeth not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. All right, in a in a shame, you know, unconfident, you know, countenance. It's gonna show if you don't know how to rightly divide the word of truth, and you're not gonna get that following people of other doctrines. You know, because these some some of these other camps don't even call on the name. They don't teach the MOTB. They don't teach these prophecies, man. They teach that the law is going is going to save them, All right? And we know, you know, in the Book of Galatians, you are saved by faith, not works. I'm gonna say it's in. Yeah. It's Galatians 3 and 11. It says, but that. Let's read it. Start at 10. For as many as are of the works of the law are under the curse. For it is written, cursed is everyone that continueth not in all things which are written in the book of the law to do them. Right? And what is written in the law to do them? Call on the name. All right, of Yahweh by Shimei Al Shai, give his son his reverence, and what did uh, yeah, you know, the brotherly love, you know. All right, see, but that no man is justified by the law in the sight of the Most High, it is evident, for the just shall live by faith. It says, and the law is not faith. Is not of faith, but the man that doeth them shall live in them. Okay, so we supposed to keep these laws, but no, you know, really, it's the mercy of Yahweh by Shimei Shah that that uh, you know, and the faith in his his only begotten Son. All right, that's what's gonna save you. So if you don't know the names, how are you gonna be saved? If you're not teaching the name, if you're teaching false doctrines. You ain't teaching the pure truth. So let's go. What is faith? Hebrews 11 and 1. Now faith is the substance of all of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Okay. Prophecy. All right. <clears throat> because prophecy is our salvation. And we don't have sight of our salvation yet. Okay. We hope for it. Okay. It's going to be James. One and one. James one and five. It says if any of you lack wisdom. Let him ask of the most high. That giveth. To all men liberally. And upbraideth not. And it shall be giveth to him. Alright. The most high gives. A. Uh, Man, wisdom liberally, but you have to do the diligence. He doesn't hold it back. All right. But let him ask in faith. Okay. Nothing wavering. For he that wavereth is like a wave of the sea driven with the wind and tossed. All right. Unstable, man. This is, I'm going to read it in the NLT. But when you ask him, be sure that your faith is in the Most High alone, God Yahweh, okay? Do not waver for a person with divided loyalty. Divided loyalty is as unsettled as a wave of the sea that is blown and tossed by the wind, okay? Divided loyalty, all right? We know through the countenance of our our elders, you know, that teach the, the doctrine of GMS, all right? That they have the 100% truth. Alright. And if you don't see it. You don't see it. But don't let. The next man. You know. 
that, uh, you know, of another camp try to, uh, you know, persuade you to, you know, to go to, to one of their camps. All right. You got to be rooted in this thing. You got to have the faith that you're being led by the right men. All right. Verse seven. For let not the man think that he shall receive anything of the Lord. All right. The Lord's not going to give you that wisdom if you keep on jump, camp hopping. All right. Listening to other doctrines. All right. Verse 8, a double-minded man is unstable in all his ways, right? Because then you're going to start doubting yourself. When you go listen to these other uh, these other um, doctrines, you know, and you're not rooted in, in your own faith. It's a it's a demon that's getting you're you're allowing to uh, creep in. And what does it say? Do not tempt. says not to tempt the most high and I'll just I can't here it is in uh, I read it in Luke 4, 4 and 12 and Yahushua answering said unto him it is said thou shalt not tempt for thy power okay Right. You don't want to tempt the most high man. Yeah, how about Shimei Shai ain't nothing to play with? Okay. Study to show yourself approved. Gird yourself up with the right doctrine. Alright, because all Israel is not of Israel. Alright. And some of those other camps. You know they they might be uh, <laughs> they might be spies. You know, you don't know. They 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 could have. Uh, you know they all signed that that contract with the government. You know, that's why they don't teach the truth and they know the truth because they came out of one west too. Second, First John two and twenty he says, but ye have an Unction from the Holy One, and ye know all things. All right, that unction. Let's get that. It should be charisma, right? It says anything smeared on unguent ointment, usually prepared by Hebrews from oil and aromatic herbs, anointing from the inaugural ceremony. All right, so the anointing. Okay, you have to be anointed in this truth to get it. All right. Let's drop down. Verse 26. These things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. Let me read that in the NLT. I'm writing these things to warn you about those who want to lead you astray. All right. Let's jump back in the KJV. But the anointing which ye have received of him abideth in you and ye need not that any man teach you i was not saying that not any man teach you you still need a teacher hebrews 5 and 12 all right but but as the same anointing teacheth you of all things and is truth and is no lie and even as it has have taught you ye shall abide in him all right but as the same Anointing teacheth you of all things and is truth and is no lie. Okay, so you have to be taught by the truth. You got to be taught by men that that were taught in the truth. All right. Your teachers have to have the, the unction, that charisma, the anointing from the Holy Spirit, Hamashiach. All right. For you to even be in this truth. For you to receive it. If you're being taught by somebody without that unction. You're not going to have the truth. Alright. If you have the unction. Alright. Well you wouldn't need to be taught yet. Because what this comes from. From hearing it. Alright. 
The truth comes from you hearing it. Blessed is he that have ears to hear. All right, Matthew 13 and 13. But ye have received the Holy Spirit and he lives within you. So you don't need anyone to teach you what is true. For the Spirit teaches you everything you need to know. And what he teaches is true. It is not a lie. All right, now cancel that because it was going off on that. But this is what that's saying is that you have to be taught by other men with that unction. All right, your teachers have to have that unction. And we know that the teachers of GMS have that unction. Saki, I thought I seen something in that in LT version, but there wasn't nothing. Oh. No, that was the wrong verse. Sakia. Just got a couple more scripts. Bear with me. Oh, it's 14 and 6. God. <clears throat> Yahweh Shai say, un John 14 and 6. Yahweh Shai say unto him, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. All right, so we got to follow Yahweh Shai to get to the Father. All right. And, and his disciples, all right, because when Yahweh Shai left the scene, you know, he, he, he gave that order to disciples to go to the ends of the uh, world and teach his gospel, all right, and his Holy Spirit, you know, which you can read in this chapter, the Comforter is with them, is with those men. Titus chapter 2 and verse 1. But speak thou the things which become sound doctrine. All right. So after you get the teaching, all right, you're, you're ordered to go out on those highways and hedges. All right. But to, to speak those things which are sound doctrine, you have to learn the sound doctrine first. All right. And know that there is only one way to the Father. Entrance to uh, to to the kingdom is through the straight and not the wide. All right. These other uh, you know teachers will will let you know you know these other doctrines will make it seem as if you can enter through the wide the ways of this world. All right, and that is very false. All right. So so once again, do not mix doctrines. All right, Lord willing, it's been edifying. I want to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. All right, until the next one, Shalom.